money That's all I really know, feel me? Count hundreds all day, you know my hands filthy My last bitch in work, it ain't no time to sit and pity new era. This is for you guys Oh, straight up Awesome. What's good? I'm your girl, Adri V, and of course, I'm standing here with the new boys. Just got off the stage, rocking the hair at the University at Buffalo Student Association. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I'm all big about being a go getter and why it's important that you have to be one. So I want to know why do you believe it's important for you to be a go getter? I want to know why it's important for me. I got my own personal reasons. You know, everybody got their own separate reasons. A go getters. Very important because the ladies like it first off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But then again, I got a daughter, so I'm gonna go get her for my daughter. She's also a little lady growing up, so I gotta just make sure she good and she taken care of, so she won't see the life that I see, my mom see, my pop see. I'm just my for my family, you know, just for me, so I can live, you know, so I can look good. I mean, I don't want to look bad. I mean, gotta make it happen. You don't want to look bad, right? Hey, you looking enough. great. I, thank you, you too. You a go getter, right? Yes, and you are. I'm go getter. You gotta go get it. Well, honey, I know you think it's. <laughs> what happened to the other new boys? Two new boys. See, my partner, he's sick right now, mm. so I had to come fill in and do two. Yes. So don't think nothing crazy. We all want it. We're gonna go take care of him in a minute. We made sure we brought him some new air caps. Compliments of new air cap code. Good looking. So what can we actually expect next from you guys? We got the lights off. We get the lights on. You know, what's what's going on next? <laughs> Uh, right now, you know, we trying to just, you know, be get more urban with it because okay. we kind of lost our urban sound when we did the second, on the second project, we was just straight pop and like a lot of our urban fans was like, man, they, they went pop, but that's not what we did. We was just making money. That's understandable because that's the same thing with people may have said about, um, of course, Nicki Minaj, but do you think having a collaboration of both because you're reaching different demographics and probably going on and beyond reaching just the urban crowd, so do you think having both a collaboration of the pop, fist pumping music, and of course, keeping it, you a jerk and probably taking it back to the hood, like, which, do you think you would be able to get that kind of combination? A lot of that, like, with, like a part of how they mix it up is that you, you know you have the pop album now for the streets they put out that mixtape so they got the full mixtape and sound so you give them you still give them that sound back so now you have more of the urban fans that are like okay you know they still you know they still doing normal stuff they ain't with Hollywood on it they're not just yeah. you know what I mean but it's yeah. like you gotta understand it's the business when you put out an album there has to be I'm sure at least two to three pop or radio singles that can be played. And the, the point of this business is to make money. So Absolutely. people's opinions really doesn't matter unless they're buying it, right? That's what I'm talking about. Boosh! I, I like ah. the pop. <laughs> <laughs> I like it better with the lights on. Oh, okay. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> I want to see the lights on next time. Thank Thank you. You. <laughs> we thought about that too yeah. in the edit version. You should do it. For the radio, you look better with the lights on, but we was like, the sun don't make sense if you do that. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> so like more so here, at, well, I work for BLK in 93.7 and uh, we have like a, a show where we have unsigned artists and of course we want to educate them with the different individuals that we have coming through here. So what are some words of wisdom that you can necessarily give to our unsigned artists that really help them and catapult them? Do you suggest them immediately signing on with a major record label or starting independent or really just like you said doing the groundwork yourself and just working your way through? Okay, so examples out here, man. I think you should um, start independent. You know, get your buzz up, build a fan base, because if you ain't got a buzz, then you ain't got nothing to push. Like, you gonna push your music to no one, because you ain't buzzing. So you gotta create that buzz, man. You can do that yourself. You feel me? Um, just stay in us. Yeah, iTunes, you can do iTunes on your own, man. All this, just everything costs money. You can digiwax yourself. You know what digiwax is? All these labels use digiwax, man. That's just to service your records to DJs. You can do that. That's easy. But they don't tell you that. That's a piece of information they leave out. So that's something you can do to service your record. Did you ask, man? I ain't gonna front to you. I'm 100. You feel me? But I mean, you know, videos, YouTube videos, man, all that. That's gonna get you some views. If you got views, people gonna recognize the views because they probably ain't got no views. So they gonna jump on it. It's just adding. If you buzz, man, it's gonna buzz more. So just study your craft and keep doing it. Um, just when it comes to making yourself as known as possible, what is your marketing campaign and what are you guys doing? Because the internet is just really taking over. It's like no more flyers these days, posters these days. What are you guys doing to really push yourself viral? You know, I think for them it's just using like their Instagram, their Twitter, 
like, and they actually talk to their fans. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of words that have, like, these, they got their Twitters and stuff like that, and it's just servicing them to make money. They advertise it for something else to get money off of. Not knocking that, but, like, you still got to talk to your fans. These are the same people that are coming to your shows, you know what I'm saying? These are the people that are buying your singles, buying your albums, so... It's like you gotta you gotta make them feel like you make them feel special. Like they hit their Twitter and they can just say hi to somebody and make their day just off of that. It's like just taking a few seconds to show a little love for your fans. If, you know what I'm saying? To get you somewhere in the end where it's like you kind of like fall, maybe you falling off and trying to get back up. I honestly think I'm like one of the only famous people on Twitter that write to all my fans. Like they like like they regular people like me. Like it is what it is. I'm a regular ass <laughs> man. <laughs> Straight up, and like they be asking some funny questions. I be wanting to answer it, like answered it. Like it is what it is. It was so hard. I said, "What's up?" I don't be doing nothing. Like that's the laziest thing. You ain't know saying, trying to say, "What's up?" You ain't doing nothing. What's going on? Like what's up with you? It's all business. You don't want to mess up business. Oh, Ben J. Bench 100, the eyes and eyes. It is like, follow me, follow me, I'm Ben J, bro, on Twitter, I'm, I am Ben J, bro, 100, I need some new followers, so, holla at me, I'll talk to you. Yo, yo, what's the deal, look at my hats, man, you checking out Adri V, the go-getter, and DJ Gus, we in that thing, 100 though, Wes. All of them fucking, fuckin', half of them lucky. Ask for a type, just say rapper with money. I'm a rapper with money, so we.